Hey everybody, Jeff here. Joining me again is Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back to Made of Scare. We we just got the last Sealy Doodle thingy thingy bopper. Okay, Sealy bopper. Flanders. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. It's a crest. It's a crest. It's not a seal. It's a crest. So let's go. Let's go put this in to the admittedly very very cool train set. Yeah. Like I want that train set. Right? Uh, where would you put it? Where, I, 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 okay, if I thought about where I would put things before I bought them, I wouldn't have half the things I own. Mm, yeah, maybe you should start thinking that way. Uh, well, I mean, my wife bought a fucking trampoline and we kept it in the garage for a year. So, ha. <laughs> it was assembled in the garage and then when it was time to move it, it was like, uh, I don't think this will fit on through the garage door. <laughs> And it only barely did. Nice. All right. Crusty Bopper. Stop being too cute. It's gonna bite me the ass. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Fuck all y'all. Go through that door. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The good thing is I just saved, so if we die horribly right now... Just don't die. Right? Well, um... Two? Yes? Nah. Where does this go on the ground floor? Oh, it goes up behind the... Oh, we should do that. We should do that. No, no, no. Mm. So it's those two doors that were below the, the big giant organ. Oh. See, okay, so we were talking about that piano in the basement last time. I don't think we're going to need that. I think that piano in the basement and the piano, the organ, are tied together because they had the same number of keys we could push. So I think we have to find something. Like, we figure it out with that one, and then we use it on the organ. I'm wondering if the cylinders are actually, like, that's how you play those. Because, mm. like, if they want to use the cylinders on everybody, like, you'd put it in a big fuck-off Dracula organ, right? Yeah. Big fuck off Dracula organ is sounds mildly sexually inappropriate. <laughs> We're gonna put it in Dracula's massive organ. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's it's probably huge, right? Um I don't know. Eleven inches around. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What is that from? Why do I... Oh, that's a quote from something. And I want to say it's the Todd. But I know it's not the Todd. But I can just see him being like, Ladies, I have an 11-inch penis. Around. Yeah, I don't know what it's from. It may be... Like, I may have dreamed it. No, it sounds like some stupid movie. Link. Okay, now we have easy access to the second and third floor without going, or the first and second floor without going to that uh, ladder behind the, the statue. Perfect. Now let's go see what all these candles on the floor are. Right? Where's my Where's my betrothed, beloved? My um, what's that thing that people used to do instead of dating? Going steady. No, before that. Uh, courting? I don't know. Yes, my be courtshipped. <laughs> my courtshipper. My courtshipment? <laughs> that sounds more like produce. <laughs> Where is my produce lady? There you go. There she is! <laughs> Speak of the devil. How did she know I got here? Because she's under Thomas? the spell of the siren tail. Thomas? My uncle Abraham might be on the second floor now. Is he the one without a shirt? I hope not. No. <laughs> yeah, that was Abraham we've been seeing getting tortured. He's just really into torture. <laughs> um. How, yeah, how the fuck you? would she know Thomas? She's not. She can't there see him. Up to the attic, through my father's rooms in the west wing. God. You should be able to reach me that way. Why does this building have to have so many wings? This fancy. 
My uncle was not a man to be trifled with before. And now, You're... I am not sure he's a man at all. He's a brute, Thomas. I pray you be careful. Please be care. take care, Thomas. They based the main character in a streetcar named Desire on him. <laughs> I believe he was described as a brute, right? Yeah. I, I to be to be fair, it's been a long time since I read the book, and even longer since I saw the film, and uh, <laughs> I just I just remember him not being a cool dude. I can't think of his name though, and I honestly am questioning now why I'm asking you about this because I know I, I feel like you're just gonna be like I don't fucking know who. I don't know his name. Wasn't okay. he in love with the girl named Stella though? Stella was his wife. So um, yes, would be the answer. <laughs> uh, it was an abusy relationship, if I recall. Meh. I don't know. I, I get that mixed up with like two other uh, stories I read in high school, and it all comes down to um. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to get into it because we need to focus on what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Worry about this. Right? If people want to learn about Streetcar Named Desire, be... they can go watch the play, the movie, or read the book. Don't watch the movie. They changed the ending. Prudence's letter to Elizabeth. Dear Prudence. Oh, no. That would be the response. My Elizabeth, although I am writing with a heavy heart, knowing that we have little time left together, please know that I cherish and love you dearly. There is so much more I should should have told you. This house and the watery depths by which it dwells are full of secrets, many too terrible to be told, and I fear that I com was complicit in them. Like we steal all of our cable and our neighbor's internet. I mean, that's I was fair. a young girl swept up in her fascination and adoration of your grandfather and father's hubris. By the promise of power and fame their discoveries afforded, if there's justice in this earthly realm, as they say there is in the hereafter to come, I am paying the price I owe. I'm guessing she went to hell. <laughs> <laughs> my fervent wish is that you shall not pay for my sins too. That, wait, was Prudence her mom? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying it with this stupid voice. I was thinking it was like a friend or something. My fervent wish is that you shall not pay for my sins too. There is so much more I should have done. My greatest regret is not having the strength to leave Scare Hotel. To not have taken you away from this place. To have been so thoroughly caught up in its spell. It was a mistake I do not wish you to repeat. Leave this place. Do not look back. Do not get seduced by its honeyed song. Ooh. There's honey here somewhere? We'll get peanut butter and some bread. We got a sandwich. My darling daughter, please do not weep for me. But know that I love you with all my heart and soul. My eternal love, Prudence. Okay. We don't, don't know how her mom died yet. We haven't figured that out. Probably Abraham, also, a psychopath. Probably, yeah. <sighs> chug, chug, chug. But she definitely, like, Elizabeth got out because we sure as shit didn't meet her here. Like, oh, yes, I met her on when my parents were vacationing in, at the scare and the Catskills. Or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Why did she come back then? I think she got kidnapped by her dad and uncle. Oh, yeah, they said that before, right? I something along those lines, yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna say let's go this way because it's the direction in which I am facing. We can just have everybody go back and watch the first episode and comment below, so we know what's going on. <laughs> right? Comment below so that when this goes up, we've already finished all these recordings, and then we can be like, "Yep, you were right," but you know, we're, it's too late to take your advice. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, no, fuck! They can tell us what happened. Hi! <gasps> Is that Abraham? Sure. I, uh, that was a more well-dressed one, but he took my fucking key. Also, he punched through that wall like it was nothing. Well, did you see him? He's a big dude. He wasn't... Oh, was that the really big one? Yeah. He was He was better dressed. Like, he had a tie. Yeah. Possibly a cravat. He's a big dude. Like, oh, it'd just be so easy to just pick this fucking letter opener up. Uh, 
Again, I don't know art. But I know what I like. And I like that they took the time to put a belly button in this fucking statue. You need to make it realistic, Jeff. Yeah! Because, you know, headless, armless, legless. It's possible. Alright, so we came from over there, right? No. No, we didn't. Don't you watch murder shows, Jeff? That's entirely possible. No, I don't. What? I used to. Used to be really big into um, Criminal Minds. Uh, Sarah couldn't watch it, though, when she got pregnant, because she had, like, way too vivid murder dreams. Nice. And then it was like, well, I don't want to be up watching it by myself at night. I'm going to get scared. <laughs> and I did. So I stopped watching it. Nice. I don't know. Like, the state of the world, I try and keep my, my scary stuff, like, to the supernatural. Like, I don't, I don't need everyday monsters. I know they exist. I think give that's me, fair. Give me bag men. Give me bagmen. Or Juan. Floppy chested shirtless dudes. <laughs> no, I don't I don't I didn't say anything about Japanese people. No Japanese people <laughs> in my horror, please. Cause they're better at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah they are. Oh yay, we came all the way here for a music box. Alright. Every time I see one of those, I I honestly think it's a like a lantern, and I get so excited, <laughs> and then I remember it's it's. I was like, oh, fuck you, light! Don't do that. So, am I the only one who's disconcerted by the fact that there's nobody wandering around up here? Well, yeah, because like, it's probably just gonna be seen... you and that big dude. Her uncle. Yeah. What was it? Jebediah? I thought it was Abraham. Jethro? Abraham, that's it. <laughs> Why is the music acting like somebody heard me? Oh, pretty. A skylight. Ooh. Looks like it's not on purpose. Let me check that out in a minute. You know what I want to know? What? Like, I'm an adult. You're an adult. Like, why haven't bathtubs evolved to, like, modern person height? Seriously. Like, I feel like they've kept bathtub designs, like, the measurements for people in, like, the 1700s when we were all, like, 5'3". But... I want... I would just want, like, a bathtub, a normal bathtub, uh, that I can, like, fit, like, my whole body in. <laughs> without having it be, like, one of those big fucking square hot tubs. Just a bathtub, you know? Yeah. But I also feel like in America, usually... Once you're not a child anymore, people don't take baths that often. Mm. You know, more people True. are opted for a shower, so they probably just are like, yeah, it's fine, keep it kid size. Right, you can curl up on and on the floor of your shower. <laughs> rock back and forth if you really need it. You cry. Yeah. Yeah. I um Yeah, I even thinking like back when I had like a uh I lived in an apartment that had a really nice claw foot bathtub like that. Like, the only thing I think I ever used it for was, like, after I would be delivering, back when I was a delivery driver, like, in the winter, and, like, my sh my boots were super shitty, so, like, my feet would freeze. I think I just, like, soaked my feet in them. Mm. Elizabeth's counter song plan. This I should shut up. This seems important. Yeah. My refusal to sing has frustrated my father, but it has only delayed his plans. Playing the recordings of that creature's song via one of his mechanisms consumes him now. There must be some means to counteract it, to dull or cancel its influence, some melody or song that can act as a counterpoint. As a counter to it? At, oh, wait. 
There must be some means to counteract it, to dull or cancel its influence, some melody or song that can act as a counterpoint, as a counter to it? No, there's no way I can say that that sentence that makes that question mark make sense. <laughs> uh, I will need help, but how to go about it? Get engaged, step one. Mm -hmm. The risk of the song getting out is too great. Perhaps if I were to split it into pieces, the same as my father has done with his recordings, and approach it four different com approach four different composers, each with a part. Oh, that's why we've been finding those other things. She went to four different people and had them write different parts of it. That makes sense. But who to ask? My dearest Thomas, of course. But who else? Thomas Evans. That's us. Matilda Norton, Arthur Morris, and Henry Hughes. So I think we're missing Arthur Morris, right? We got Henry and Matilda's. Oop, ammo. Here we go. They really like this one dress, huh? Time has run out. I guess. Father intends to use his grand harmonium, the machine he has devised tonight, to use the recorded song Wait, like of that lamentable night? creature on the household and staff. A dress rehearsal for his grand reopening. One final test before... Oh, I'm not ready. I've tried to compose it myself. Tried until my fingers bled on the keys and my voice cracked. But at last, two composers of the countersong have arrived at the hotel. I must speak with them before the dress rehearsal. I can only pray that this will be enough. I could leave still, slip away. I've thought about it again and again in recent days, but that would only be condemning the others to my father's experiments. I think they're fucked no matter what. I must face yeah. our family's sins. And if I must, I shall pay the price. Oh, I wish it were not so. I wish I did not have to face this alone, as I fear my strength and resolve might fail. Thomas, where are you? I'm here, my I love. I need you now more than ever, my love. Oh, there's a recording. Hmm. All right, what does this say? Missy? Who are you? Oh. Wasn't even close. I got you. Yeah, how'd you get miss you? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you turn that W upside down, it's totally an M. And then, you know, just go from there. Remember, I'm watching you on Discord on a little screen. Yeah, that's true. Alright, well, this was illuminating. And pointless. <laughs> we found the save room. Still. Um. Where's Abraham? Give me that goddamn key. Right. Oh yeah, go find that, because that's annoying. That's not creepy. Hmm. Oh, this is a trap of some kind, right? It might be. Okay. Everything sounds fine. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Okay. Okay. Is that a person? I don't want to get too close to find out. <laughs> um. Oh, there's a cylinder right there. Where? Right in front On of you? On the map, like... Yeah, you see? In the room ahead of us. Oh, yeah. Go get it. Damn it, but we don't have the key because that asshole took it. Well, go get that asshole. Right? I'm gonna show him my ball. <laughs> Murder. I don't think... Oh, hello. Get up! Oh, God, that didn't do anything to him. Oh, he hit me. He took me out with one hit. 
All right, now you know. Well. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so how to deal with him? Right. Modulator is a good tool to get out of a bind. Its ammo is limited and hard to find. Yeah, I know. Run. Run? Run where? That's the question. Well, that's probably why you're opening all those little vent thingies, right? So you can you can dodge him. Because I doubt he's yeah, going to be able to Yeah, we've only opened the one. I thought there were two. On this floor? I, I think there's just the one. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. All right, well, we... We ran into him down that lower hallway. I run we like that must be it. Just run. That's gotta be the solution here. Cause so far the only thing we know that hurts these guys didn't bug him at all. So yeah, that's why I told you to run. Uh, when you told me to run, I was already dead. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm run, sure. No, because you used that little ball thingy. And I said, no, run. Well, because I said I was going to show him my ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know that's pointless. I'm a man of my ball word. He's not impressed by your ball. Hmm. I bet he'd be impressed if I had two. Maybe. I'll hold him up to the sides of his head and just melt his skull. Okay, so he's over there. Which, you know what? He did punch through the wall that said murderer on it. So I probably should have seen that coming, huh? Yeah. So what are my options here? He's going to punch through there. I could go... This way? Or back that way. Um. Alright. Bring it! What's your face? Hi! Bye! Hi. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I don't either. Like, how do we get the key from him? Right. It's a little I'm stiffy test stop. It real quick. Oh, that does bug him. Okay. Not much though. Hi. Yeah. Can't get me. Can you? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Sucker. Hold on, I need a drink. What's the... like... No, don't... don't you dare. Oh, I forgot to silence my phone. There's... nothing... We've got to get down the hallway he was in. Okay, so just make him come into this room and then go through that thing again. Where is he? I feel like he was coming this way, but... Like, the problem is, his feet are so loud I can't tell where he is, you know? Yeah. Oh shit, there he is! Alright, sweet, we're in here now. Where is in here? Nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Great. What does that say? Shh. Oh, can I be quiet? Can I hide from him? I don't think so. Not out in the open. <laughs> yeah, now with your loud ass <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it, Josie's. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. And we're out of ammo. Well, I can maybe juke him. Hold on. Give me courage, Laudanum! Alright, what- okay, there's gotta be, like, two locked doors, three locked doors, um... Oh, there's some mystery things down there. it has gotta be something in that room that he was in. Crap, where's the room?! I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't either, because he has the key, and we need the key from him. Right? Fuck. Well, I'm fucked now. Bye! Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Oh god, don't get stuck on things. I just said shh, and then there's like a drawing right there. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Alright, come on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Haha. Uh -huh. I am... I am very confused. Also, I'm kind of lost now. Yeah. Is this a door? It's a door. Oh, we're back here. Yay. Um. Well, shit. I have no clue what to do here with this guy. I haven't seen anything we could... There's a one room we haven't been in, it looks like. That's yeah, maybe I can get back there. Lock? Bye! <laughs> Alright, how do I get there, though? Um. Alright, going the right way. Oh, is that him? Did he just hiss at me like a cat? <laughs> it sounded like it. Getting an angry kitty. What's in here? Well, this will keep me alive for about two seconds. All right. It's going to be easier to just run past him. God, now that I know I can do this. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really think that through, did they? No, they did not. I don't know what the shh means, though. Like, what does this help me with? All right, you know what? We're going to call this one here since I'm stuck in a corner. Um, Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. What do you think we're supposed to do with Uncle... What was it? Eustace? Abraham. Jedediah? Abraham. There we go. I keep wanting to say Jebediah. What do you think we should do with him? Let us know in the comments below and we'll catch you on the flip-flop. Oh, is he running too? Fuck me. Oh, Jeb that's a locked door. Jebediah is your dad.